Fox Carolina is committed to getting you answers about roads across the upstate. Several viewers writing in telling us about this one, Rogers Road. This is a look from above for you. Our Joan video shows that road in Anderson County riddled with potholes and patches. Well, Rogers Road is a few miles from I-85 South. Got it all mapped out for you just, uh, just off of Highway 29 in Pelzer there. Fox Carolina is Brooklyn Cromer live in studio with some new information from Anderson County roads and bridges. Well, potholes, potholes, and more potholes. It's what you'll see when driving on Rogers Road in Pelzer. In fact, it's so bumpy, it feels like you're off-road, and drivers say they've had enough. I start trying to dodge potholes, and I'll go to the left lane, and then I'll straddle the, the middle of the, the middle uh, line to avoid potholes, and sometimes I meet traffic, and i got to hit some of them. But it's basically uh, kind of like playing dodgeball. It's not fun and games for Thompson Smith and other drivers on Rogers Road and near Highway 29 and I-85 in Pelzer. I have hit some hard ones and I've wondered if it's knocked it out of line. Uh, but yes, I mean, it, there's some pretty hard hits going down through and I know good and well it's not doing my tires or my vehicle any good. Another driver, Eugene, writing in sharing his concern. He tells us huge potholes on this road busted my tire. Smith lives on Rogers Road, not far from his childhood home. This road was originally a dirt road before my time, but it was a little old tar and gravel road when I was a young boy, and then they finally paved it. Anderson County Roads and Bridges maintains Rogers Road. The county says many of the old farm roads like this one are falling apart. With only a thin layer of asphalt covering the gravel, these roads weren't made for heavy traffic. Not a real base under that road to support the kind of traffic that it's, uh, it's experiencing now. Two new neighborhoods just went up, adding to the traffic. The land right beside us over here, they got about 130 new homes in there and across 29 over here about 100 homes that they put in. But a lot of those use this road. This causing massive craters and obstacles for drivers. The roads kind of got destroyed during the construction process when they were bringing concrete trucks and dump trucks and heavy equipment in and out. The county's done little except just do a little patch, throw a little, throw a little asphalt in there. Kimberly agrees, writing in telling us the crews just keep covering them with asphalt and it has to be redone a lot. Why not completely fix it? The county needs to plan and improve the infrastructure before they approve all these developments. But since they can't plan ahead, since it's already happened, what they need to do is get in here and figure out how they're going to really fix the road. And we asked the county if crews have any plans to fix the crumbling road. We found out there's no upcoming project scheduled at this point. The county says they do not have the funding to cover it. And of course, we'll continue following up and working to get answers. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News. And if you have another road in mind that you would like us to get some answers to, take out your phone. You could scan the code right now and fill out that information. Otherwise, you can always do that at foxcarolina.com. Just click on Getting Answers and Report a Road. We have some